This is Waldorf Education, the short course. Uh, this is really a handout that is visual and needs to be seen in order to make much sense of it, but I will read the text on it briefly here. Subtle bodies and the human being. Uh, this shows here the four bodies of humans in relation to the four kingdoms of nature, um, the mineral kingdom, and then the plant kingdom is based on the mineral kingdom and the plant kingdom. The animal kingdom relies on the mineral kingdom, the plant kingdom, and then its own animal. And then the human, what they call the, the human kingdom of nature, is built upon the mineral, plant, animal, and then has the next level of experience. So in the mineral kingdom, what everything shares is the physical body form of matter. For what we call the plant level of the, the plant kingdom is um, the etheric body, life functions, and growth processes. And then the third level that becomes um, unique in the animal and human kingdoms is the astral body, perceptions, and inner sensations. And then finally, for the human, uh, what they call the human kingdom of nature, is the I sense, upper uppercase I, ego sense, um, ego presence, um, self consciousness, and individuality. And this shows a picture of kind of a wide foundational arc that is blue that stands for the physical body physical form and then it's got a green layer on top of that that's a little smaller that talks about um, that represents the etheric body and life functions and then the astral body and sensations is a level above that and then the very top part of that is the self-consciousness or the I or ego consciousness <clears throat> the human being is composed of four bodies with different basic functions first is the physical body that is the outward physical form of the body, which is built up out of mineral substances and which is for that reason visible to us. Second is the invisible etheric body, which enables our life processes and functions. The next invisible body is the astral body, which enables us to have feelings and perceptions. The highest supersensible super body is the I or ego, our essential self, which enables us to be conscious of ourselves as individual beings among other beings.